The next dish I'm going to make for you is one of the quickest and the simplest stir fry. It's a dish which I learned during my travel to Kerala, which is known as God's own country. It's a very simple dish, very easy to make, and it cooks very, very fast. Now, part of the magic of cooking traditional food is not about sourcing the authentic ingredients, but using whatever ingredients you have, recreating the right flavors with the right technique. Now, this dish in Kerala is known as the thoran. Now, for a thoran, there are three things you must have. The first one is mustard seeds, second one is curry leaf, and the third part of it is fresh grated coconut. Now, classically in South India or in Kerala, they add vegetables which are shredded or finely chopped. And they could be anything, right? From carrots to beans to cabbage to cauliflower is perfectly okay. I'm going to do my take on this is what my family likes to eat. So I've got asparagus, I've got carrots, I've got baby corn, I've got beans. What I'm also going to add is some whole cashew because I just love the kind of a texture you get by biting into something crispy and crunchy like a nut along with vegetables. Also, what I like to do is I like to cook my vegetables just al dante, which means just slightly cooked. And I'm going to actually blanch these vegetables. And when we start blanching, I'm going to explain that to you, what blanching really does and how you can do that. And if you don't want to blanch it, there is an option of doing it without the blanching. Uh, to begin with, I have got water which is boiling. So water has almost come to a boil. I'm going to season that with salt. Now this is very important because if you're going to blanch vegetables, you're going to add seasoning or flavor to it. So a generous amount of salt into the water. Now when you're actually blanching, what does blanching mean? Blanching means when you add something, you dip it into a hot medium and you take it off. So blanching could be in fat like oil when you blanch fries or you're blanching vegetables or you want to blanch anything else. So hot water here with some seasoning and then goes on our vegetables. Now when you blanch the vegetables, they do get partly cooked, but you don't want to overcook it. Blanching also retains their color quite well. So when you're adding like carrots or beans, they still hold their color well. If you don't cook it for too long, it has to be just about right. For me, vegetables have to be nice and crunchy, has to have a bite into it. When you're blanching, there are a few golden rules. The first thing what you do is you add vegetables which are much firmer and which take longer time to cook. So I've got things like carrots, I've got baby corn, I've got fine beans and I've got asparagus. Now the fine beans and asparagus, you can literally have them raw. I mean, so can you have carrots, but corn you can't. So first things to go in are going to be vegetables which are firmer in texture, which take longer to cook. First thing I've got is sliced baby corn and that goes into the water. Give it a little stir. As soon as you add the vegetable, the temperature does drop because you're adding something cold into boiling hot water. Now, once that again comes up to a certain boil or a slight rumbling boil, I'm then going to add my carrots. So you can see on the sides, it's beginning to again come to a very, very gentle simmer. So when you blanch them into hot water, if you overcook it, they become very soggy. So the best way to prevent them from getting soggy is to take them off and put them into an ice water. So take a big bowl with lots of ice and water in it and add the vegetables on that. It stops or arrests the cooking process. It stops right there because of the shock of the cold water, the vegetables really cool down. So what you get is a very nice colorful vegetable, bright, bright, but not overcooked. So that's come to a little boil, then goes in our carrots. Now that will take a little while to cook. So while that is going to cook, I'm going to now start with the tempering. In this dish, the oil used is going to be coconut oil. So if you're in South India, that is what they use for the cooking medium. Coconut oil is extremely healthy for you. It has a very high burning point. So you want to put an oil into your pan, which can hold heat at a high temperature. Now because at a high temperature, is really hot, you can wok fry or you can stir fry quite instantly. If you put it on a medium heat, it'll take too long. And then the vegetable become very watery and the dish doesn't taste nice. It has to be nice and dry. So for that reason, we first get our pan hot. So take a heavy bottom pan. We're going to get that hot. That is almost there. And then I pour in my coconut oil. Now 
I've got my mustard seeds. So for the thoran, don't forget is mustard seeds, is curry leaves, is coconut. Now again, curry leaves are absolutely magical. They have so much of natural oil and flavor in them that once that hits in to the hot oil, all the flavors are released into the oil and that translates all into your dishes. So we're going to get that nice and hot. I'm also going to use ginger. I'm going to use green chili. Now again, if you do not like spicy food and you don't want to have chili, you can absolutely skip the chili. I can have this vegetable stir fry like it's on its own, a big bowl. You can have it like a salad or you can even accompany that with your main meal. It's a great dish to have. So mustard seeds are going to go into the hot oil. What I'm doing right now is I need to feel the heat in my palm. So once I feel the heat, just be careful, don't touch the oil, just on top. This is now nice and hot. In goes in my mustard seeds. And you see, as soon as you add the mustard seeds, they begin to pop and crackle. Then goes in ginger chopped. Then we'll go in the green chili chopped. Then goes in a good handful of curry leaves. Then goes in my cashew. Would have lightly sorted a cashew. To lower this heat down, just to cook. I've got some asparagus here, which I'm going to half. Asparagus, you also get a fine version of asparagus, which works well. This goes in into the pan. Asparagus, you can even have it raw. It works perfectly fine. The beans go in into the hot water. Just want to saute the vegetables. The cashew, along with the asparagus. And at this stage, take out the vegetables from the pan of a pot of hot water and spread in. All I'm doing is I'm putting it straight from the boiling water into my hot pan. And just stir fry. What I will also add now is some monster. You can also use snow peas. These are very tender. You can have it raw on its own. They work very well. Coconut, a generous amount of coconut. I don't like to add any spice powder in this. So no uh, coriander powder, cumin powder, chili powder, or turmeric powder. I like to keep it very plain, very natural in flavors. I want the flavors of the vegetables to sink through, really come through to life. A gentle toss. Oh, wow, so much flavor to it. Salt. And lastly, a good squeeze of lemon. I'm going to probably put three veggies of lemon in this. Even just making this dish takes me back to Cochin or Kochi, which is a beautiful land. Lots of fresh seafood, lots of vegetables, lot of food cooked with coconut milk, which I absolutely adore. And just mix together. All I'm doing right now is just ensuring that the lemon juice and the salt are mixed. Switch off the heat and we're done. It is as simple and easy as that. And you look at the colors, it is so vibrant. The vegetables are nice and fresh. They have a lot of crunch to it because they're not really overcooked. The cashew has been sorted into the coconut oil. So it's got like a slight golden 
feel to it. They have got toasted into the oil. They have a nice nutty flavor. The coconut has been cooked with a vegetable, again imparting a very nice flavor to it. When my vegetables are going to rest for a couple of minutes. I'm going to clean up my area. I'd like to have it nice and clean before I serve my food. All I don't need goes off. Little wipe down. Here we have a specially chosen a very rustic plate because the color reminds me of the coconut trees around me and the backwaters which is so beautiful and green. And in this, I'm going to now spoon in my vegetables and you will look at the colors literally come to life. Look at that. And that is genuinely what Indian food is about. It's about colors, it's about flavors, it's about textures, it's about your love for food is about how much you care for people around you. And that is the land India is. And finally, a little garnish of grated coconut and just because it is me and I love lemon I am going to squeeze in an extra lemon on top oh this smells divine gorgeous food that not just looks beautiful but also tastes beautiful Thoran from God's own country which is Kerala.